In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to create this call to action section in Webflow in just a few minutes. And I'm gonna be able to do this by using an uncommon component from the Reloom library. Now, you might have seen a component like this before, the section like this before. We believe it's a great way to show a preview of what's on another page. So as a link, it does create that wow factor. So I'm excited to show you. So let's jump in and start building. Okay, so I have cloned the Reloom Library style guide and I have a fresh Webflow project ready to go. Now, I also have the design in Figma and I've gone ahead and exported all the images uh, ready for the build. Now I'm gonna head back over to uh, the Reloom Library and I'm going to go to the CTA sections. And I'm going to use the filters in the CTA sections to uh, find the uncommon components. I'm going to click the uncommon component filter, copy CTA 38 to the clipboard, go back into Webflow and paste the section inside of the main wrapper. Now you will see above the component there is some instructions, but this is an instructional video, so we don't need those. I'm going to talk through that in a moment. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do to this component is I'm going to update the content. So I'm going to copy and paste all the content over from the Figma file. And it's pretty straightforward actually. It's just a matter of uh, copy and pasting the title of the company. Great. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually update the images. But before, oh, but how I do that is because the format is a little hard to edit, what I will do is I will uh, use the navigator here. So for image one, I'm just going to click image one. I'm going to go to the gear icon and I'm going to uh, choose image. I've already uploaded the images. So I'm going to select the first image and then I'm going to go into the second link block, upload the or choose the correct image for that one. And then I'll do that for the remaining. Great, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna begin styling uh, the page. So the very first thing I'm probably gonna to wanna to do is add a background color. And so I'm gonna just grab the hex code from the Figma and apply a background color to the uh, section. I'm also gonna apply a background color to the entire page just because it will just look a lot better. Cool, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start styling the text. So here I have text, uh, that is 32 pixels. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna replace this class and use the heading medium class, which is 32 pixels. Um, and uh, for actually, for the heading medium class, I'm actually gonna bump this up to extra bold. Great. And now for the uh, link text, I'm also gonna make this extra bold as well. Great, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click the link image wrapper. Uh, it is set to display none. I'm gonna make it visible just so we can see what we're dealing with here. And I'm going to click the link image. Now I'm going to go to the Figma file and just match the width of the image. So for this design, the max width is 360 pixels. So I'm going to type in 360 pixels divided by 16 rems and that converts to rems, which is 22.5 rems. Notice that I'm editing the max width here and that's because we're using the width of 75% so that it is uh, scalable across mobile, uh, tablet, desktop. Um, so yeah, this will be the max width. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a radius, a border radius uh, to fit in with the design. Then I'm going to click the image wrapper and revert it back to display none. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the stroke to two pixels as seen here. So I'm going to click the link block, going to go down to borders and change it from one pixel to two pixels. Awesome. Now, uh, you will notice that there is a HTML embed inside of this component. Uh, the HTML embed, uh, the purpose of that is to uh, basically achieve this hover state of when I do hover over, the other elements, uh, you know, change color. Um, and so to achieve that, instead of using animations, we've used uh, CSS. Now, um, I'm going to explain this CSS because it's important that you know how this works. 
um, so so that if you do make changes or want to make changes, you can make changes in here. Now we usually don't use uh, HTML embeds, but we thought for this interaction, it's actually much easier doing it this way. So if you do decide to firstly change the uh, name of the component, uh, make sure that you also change the name of the component inside of this HTML embed. Uh, also, uh, you'll see that there is a color hex code and this color hex code is basically the default color of the text. Uh, this next color hex code is the, the color of the text when you hover over the component and then this is the color it reverts back to. So we want these two colors to match and this color to be uh, the, the hover state color. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is let's imagine that uh, let's look at the hex code for this for this text and it's actually 212121 so I'm going to paste that in here paste that in here and you know for the hover state it's actually 9A9A 9A9998 9A, 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 9A. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to replace that and then I'm going to press save great so now you can see when I hover over the text the it, it is basically changing to 9A what you also see is that the hover state's working, the image is showing, but it isn't achieving the effect that we that of the mouse movement. So I'll show you how to do that uh, in a moment. But before I do, I'm just going to add um, a additional spacing here. I'm going to trade the margin medium class for margin x large just to give it some more breathing room. And then now I can go ahead and I can uh, add in the last part which is adding in the uh, mouse movement interaction. So we'll go to interactions, we'll add a page trigger called mouse moving viewport, uh, we'll select play mouse animation, and we'll click this animation called CTA38 image movement. So that's already built in, pre-built, you just need to activate it. Now, uh, for smoothing, we would recommend using between 80 or 90%. Uh, the higher it is, the less, uh, I guess reactive it is or responsive it is. So uh, you can achieve more of like a floating effect. Uh, so I'm gonna go with 90% and then let's go ahead and preview the design. Cool. And there you have it. For desktop, the interaction is working perfectly uh, as you can see here. Awesome. Now let's look at uh, tablet and mobile. So for tablet, the default we have is to not show any image at all because hovers, hover states don't exist on tablets so we're not going to be able to achieve much anyway um, but if you did want to show the image um, when maybe you click on any of the links uh, what we can do what you can do is you can click the link block uh, and you can go over to each link blocks uh, animation and just click tablet and uh, iPhone uh, sorry phone <coughs> not iPhone uh, and you just need to click through. So do that for all four so that it appears. Great, and then the last thing that you'll want to do is uh, go over to click the links image, sorry, the image wrapper and click the selector and you'll see it says minus one. What we'll do is we'll just make that one and then basically it works and you'll see as we scale down uh, the image will adjust in size. But as mentioned, not as effective on mobile given the fact that hover stage just, they just do not work on mobile. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful and you would like to continue to improve your design and development workflow on Webflow, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you would like to see more videos like this, you can visit the Realum University on our website. And if you would like to join a community of designers and developers using Webflow, you can join our Slack channel, it's free, and you can find it on our website in the footer and also on our socials. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy building.